Hi guys, uh, Tom Vapes here. I've got um, a type of mod today that I haven't reviewed before. Uh, it's a box mod and it's this MVP2 from um, Totally Wicked. I must point out I received this free of charge for the purpose of review, but I will obviously, as always, keep my opinion accurate and honest. Um, oh, oh, upside down, yep. Yeah. It's by, it's by TCC. It's an original Inakin product, like I said, from Totally Wicked, um, and this comes with the um, iClear 30, this tank here. Um, so, what I'm going to do is go to Course Up Cam and show you how it all works and what you get in the box, and then we will go back to normal cam and I'll give it a vape so here we go close up cam right so this is the box it comes in MVP2 so obviously this is your actual box mod actual put just there and then underneath you get your instructions which are all in proper English very easy to understand it's a very simple device to use um, and you get this little thing here which explains your type of uh, atomizer and the one that comes with this is the uh, iClear 30 uh, which is a dual coil um, atomizer which is not actually in here because I've got it filled up I'll show you that in a moment uh, and you get this device here which is your charger which will plug into the bottom here with this one and USB so into your <coughs> into your laptop or wall adapter whatever you want to use um, now underneath if you can see that's your charging point and it's got a USB output you can change your input to output with this little button here and what you can do if you flick it to output and you plug the USB end into there like that because this is like a multi adapter thing you've got three you've got um, mini USB iPhone uh, iPod charger um, and what's it all called micro USB and a mini USB uh, you can actually output so you can charge devices from this um, which you know if it's fully charged and your battery uh, your phone needs a quick boost you can easily the, between these three pretty much every most popular phone you'll be able to charge um, iPod if you really wanted to charge your iPod because you needed it or whatever um, so some people might find that useful um, it's a bit of like a, a novelty type thing but some people might need it in an emergency you need to make an emergency phone call it might come in useful um, so that's how the charger works and then you've got this little beauty ring here because this is ego threaded and uh, 510 and ego so a little beauty ring for or plinth whatever you want to call it and I will now stick the iClear 30 on that just screws on nicely and that there is your device uh, iClear 30 has got a knuckle head which I didn't particularly like at first um, but because of the angle I'll show you when I when I give it a on normal cam when I show you how it works. It, it does come in in useful as the knucklehead. Um, I do normally take the tanks apart and show you, but I can't on this as it's already filled up um, because I've been giving it a good test out. So yeah, so I'm going to go back to normal cam and I'll show you how the display and the variable voltage and wattage uh, work on this. So let's go back to normal cam. 
Right then, so MVP2, um, three clicks on, you get that little light show. You notice there was a red, uh, amber, and a green. So when you press the button and it's green, um, that means that it's fully charged. When it goes to amber, it's half discharged, and when it's red, you need to charge it up as soon as possible. So this is a variable. Uh, voltage and wattage so as you can see on here uh, you've got your U well it's V for volts so if you press and hold that it shows you how many drags you've had since you've turned it on it resets every time you turn it on uh, if you keep holding it it tells you it's at 4.2 volts power mode 6 watts and it goes up in halves um, and your volts goes down in in ones or up in ones, whatever. So it goes from uh, the volts goes from three point three up to five. And the power goes from it goes up to ten. Uh, sorry, up to eleven. From six up to eleven. It's about seven point five is where I normally have it. <coughs> so it's pretty simple. Two buttons, not very difficult to use at all. Um, so, and as you can see, what I was saying about the knuckle head, if you're holding this, because of the bend, if it's straight, it, it it's not really a comfortable position if it's straight, and if it's full, when you're tipping it because it's straight, the liquid's going to be tipping up past the coils, um, which doesn't particularly matter, but I found with a couple of mine devices, when the coils get older, when they're sort of wearing out, if you're tipping up past it, it sort of leaks a bit more juice in and you can end up getting juice coming up through the mouthpiece. I haven't found that with this device yet, but um, I have on other ones, um, on other tanks. So, let's give it a vape at, what, what did I say it was at, can't remember now, 7.5, yes, yeah, 7.5 watts. Um, so, give it a go. So as you can see, produces really well. Um, forgot to point out the liquid in there is totally wicked uh, black currant liquid, which is still one of my favourite liquids. As you can see, it produces a lot of vapor. If I wasn't in a fully white room, you'd be able to tell that it produces more than what you can see on the camera. Um, so let's try on another couple of different settings. Um, let's go right up to 10, 10 watts. Let's try it on that. Um, dual coil. I haven't used uh, like this sort of tank clearizer type thing um, with these changeable coils for. A long while, uh, minus the pro tank every now and again. Uh, I use a lot of drippers and um, rebuild rules at the minute, but after this, I'm really loving these sort of tanks again. Plus, much easier to maintain, I find. Uh, not that I, I like rebuildables and I like rebuilding, but these are much simpler device to use. So let's give it a go on 10 watts. So as you can see, it produces a lot more flavour, still amazing. I'm shocked at the flavour, but I get a lot of flavour off this tank. Um, so I produced a lot more. Let's have a look at, let's drop it right down to the to the lowest, which is 6, six watts. Uh, So still produce a lot of vapour, much, much milder throughout it. Um, quite like it like that actually. A lot of flavour, but much less throughout it. Basically, that's.
not as warm it's not a hot vape but when it was on 10 watts it was definitely a warm vape let's uh, flick it over to voltage mode and it goes up to 5 volts so let's give it a quick go at 5 volts first right That was a bit of a killer. <coughs> that that's strong, just a little bit too strong for me. And I like it strong, but let's try it right down at the lowest, which is uh, what is it? Three point three. Let's try it on that. Lovely, nice, mild hit. That. I've got a bad thing to say about this device. Um, as I said, I received this free charge for review, but I'm definitely contemplating purchasing one of these. For a while, as you can probably see from my previous videos, I've been using a lot of rebuildables and uh, telescopic mods, um, mechanical mods basically, so ones that can't be tailored in any way you basically get what the battery is kicking out after I've tried this and, and the previous video which was the uh, the Vapro definitely getting back into variable wattage and voltage devices I love being able to tailor the hit this would be perfect for anybody somebody that previously used to smoke a couple a day somebody that doesn't like strong throat hit, someone that likes a lot of vapour, someone that likes a lot of throat hit you can basically tailor this to exactly how you, how you like um, it's definitely a good device and the tank is perfect uh, I love the tank um, the only thing about the the tank is I prefer the look of the iClear 30S which is on this little device on the on this little device on this little sheet here the bottom one the, the only difference is the wicks are inside a little steel tube so you can't see the wicks and that's it I don't think that would make any difference to the performance of it at all it's just the look of it that I prefer that's all um, but yeah definitely a great device um, the price of these always forget to check the price um, I received this from um, my local Totally Wicked store in Wakefield um, but obviously you can buy it online if you don't have a Totally Wicked store near you um, but the Totally Wicked uh, website does have the ability to search for your local store so I'd always do that because you can go in and test it out it, um, online 54.99 so not that expensive really for a variable wattage and it's a heavy piece of kit as well I forgot to mention that um, it is it does feel like a solid piece of kit the only thing because I've seen it in pictures and stuff was the size of it I think from pictures it looks quite big but there's an iPhone 5 and that's them next to each other so it's not that big at all really it's half the size really it's a lot thicker obviously but it uh, it's not big I thought it was a lot bigger than what it what it actually is so yeah excellent device so anyone interested in variable voltage I'd definitely consider buying this and like I said if you live near a totally wicked store go in and they have testers so you can just give it a try if you like um, so yeah that's the M MVP2 thanks for watching uh, please subscribe or go and watch my other videos cheers